Well, this should be a fun one tonight. So glad to be a part of it. Alongside Ray Ferraro, my name is James. The Ultimate Team. Opening face-off just moments away. Puck is dropped and we are underway. Not able to connect. The Canadians have it from their own end. Quick pass to Sagan. Dreisaitl swooping in on the attack. Across the line from center. Here's a short pass to Coffey. Couldn't find the intended target. Cuts into the paint. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. But he came out and challenged a good save. Sends the pass over. Into the middle of the neutral zone. They've got numbers. Montreal's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Lafleur. Here's a chance, and that one's blocked. Moves it to Bellavo, and it's a quick pass to Dreisaitl. On the attack along the boards, and they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Messier stick handling in his own zone, and that's intercepted. Taken by Dreisaitl. The Red Bulls have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Lafleur. Wrist shot from the slot. Big time stop. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. And now he tries to get it across to St. Louis. The Canadians looking against the half wall. Swing and a miss. The Canadians ready to go on the attack. And that's picked off. Sends a pass over. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The game is still scoreless. Steps in and takes the puck. Quick feed to Dion. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Moved into the middle and forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Puts it up front, and that's blocked. Moves it on over to Robinson. Dion's got the puck. Quick feed down low. Knocked away. Grabs the puck in the slot. Oh, absolutely owns the crease tonight. Riddick's able to keep the score the same. He turns away a slot shot. Taken along the wall by Tarasenko. Steps inside. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Slides it diagonally to Sackick. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. We've got a penalty coming up on the play. Tarasenko's getting handed a game misconduct here. Uh, certainly no way to come back from this. The officials made his decision. You gotta chew on this as you skate by your teammates and out of the rink. You almost wonder if there could be further supplemental discipline based on that. The Red Bulls get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. The puck. He scores on the power play! Taking advantage of the extra man, move the puck well and get on the board. Montreal's hustle the difference here as they take a 1-0 lead. Been so hard to get any open space on the ice. You work, work, work. There's nothing there. Finally, they score, and now you can open the game up a bit. Takes a shot, and that one's turned away. No, it's in. It's in. Looks like he had it, but not the case. Just 20 seconds apart. That's a pair of goals. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground they couldn't stop them gets a hold of the puck with possession along the wall along the half wall with the puck and that slides right out to center ice Carlson's got it behind his own net and they fail to go tape to tape the Canadians take possession here in the open ice look out a two on one Quick pass to Hamilton. Tees it up from the blue line. Big time stop there. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And now he moves it to Crosby. Couldn't complete the play. Puck scooped up by Hamilton. 
They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Angles it over to Carlson. To his teammate! No one home on that play. Grabbed along the boards by Sackett. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Jostled off the puck. And now it's grabbed by Sackett. The Canadians get a hold of the puck under man. And that pass is stolen. And that shot dies in traffic. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Dishes it to Coffey. Over the line they come. The Canadians have it in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Riley. The Canadians gain possession in the defensive zone. Big save. Dead center. Excellent save. Montreal's power play was lethal on that major. Man, once a power play smells blood, they get really hungry. They score multiple goals on this major penalty. Can't catch up to the pass. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. That pass goes a little sideways. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Slavin. And the puck skips away after that move. Couldn't complete the play. Horn sounds, and that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Well, that's how you start a game. 20 minutes in the books, and it's already 2-0. Number two seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferrar, was also set. Let's do this. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Montreal's had almost a dream start. You want to play the game almost entirely in the other end of the ice if you can. They've done that. Look at the shots and the two-goal lead. And that one's broken up. Sets up from Gretzky's office. Scooped up along the wall by Bellavo. And now he angles it across to Lafleur. Oh, so close. Close enough that that's just a couple inches away from being a goal. Stop that one. Gets it over to Carlson. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Puck picked up by Coffey. Looking to set up offensively. And here's the pass to Sagan. He scores! to have new life here as they get back to center. Pretty easy to tell from where I'm standing, James. The bench erupted when the goal went in the net. Now they're only down by one. Takes possession off the draw. Takes it to the front. He scores! It's in! And that's three, Ray! I think he's the most surprised guy in the building. Look at the way he reacted when that puck went into the net. Outstanding effort. The Red Bulls make their way back to center ice here with now a two-goal lead in the second. Nice to pad the one-goal lead. They've played well, and now they've earned this spot in the game. Passes on over to St. Louis. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Oh, and they go back on offense. The Canadians have intercepted so many pucks in the middle of the ice. Really good positioning. Their sticks are in the right spot, and they've kept the game close. Taken by Latang. Move to the middle. Misses the net. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Icing the call and no chance for these skaters to get a breather here. Every once in a while you get burned with your weakest face-off man on the ice defensively. The offensive team can get their big boys on the ice immediately. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Dismiss that chance. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. 
Moves it to Gabarik. Unloads one. Makes the save on the slapper. Big stop by the keeper. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. Puck grabbed by Gartner. Right on the doorstep. He scores. Evgeny Malkin. The Canadians haven't generated much, Ray, but they get one back here. Claw, claw, claw. They found a way to get back to within one, even though they haven't had many shots. And with the two tied up off the face-off, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Quick feed to Carlson. Denied by the goaltender. Slides the puck to Malkin. Oh, that's a good hit. And we've got a two-on-one. Bar out! The Canadians could have used that one trailing in this game. A bad break hits the post and stays out. Quick pass to Morenz. Here he is, wristed on net. Denies it in front. Montreal's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. The Canadians take it across the line, and they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Feeds it to Oshie. Rocked him in the open ice. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Here's a short pass to Lafleur. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Picked up along the boards by Riley. Pass to Kopitar. Great defensive stick work on the play. Here's a chance right in front. Moves it quickly over to Oshi. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Montreal's got it across the line. Nice poke check. Moves it to Coffee. It's a two-on-one. Sends it over. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. Pumps the puck away. Takes a whack, but still hangs on. Puck scooped up by Robotai. And that one's broken up. Hangs on to the puck. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Comes up with the glove save. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Fails to find the open man. Montreal's got the puck against the boards. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Lowers the boom with that hit. What a steal in his own end. A great read on the play. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end. and Ray Ferraro set to call the action for you. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Quick feed to Dreisaitl. And skilled use of the stick to put the puck away. With the stop. Coffey's got it in the defensive end. Slides the puck over. And now it's grabbed by Carlson. Slides the puck down low. Oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! Set it out in front. Can't connect. Dreisaitl's got it into offensive territory. Hugh trying to shake loose. To the front. Here's a shot. Huge stop on the breakaway. I thought he was going to sell that move a little harder. The goalie read it like he was reading a children's book. Scores. Right back to the beginning of the night. When the game was tied to start, nobody has the upper hand anymore. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. 
You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Riley's got it in the offensive zone. Feeds it down low. Moves the puck along the half wall. And just out of arm's reach on the play. Puck picked up by Hamilton. Quick pass to Messier. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. And on the heels of that big hit, he's being called out. And the play's finally whistled dead by the officials who contend to the injured player. Gardner's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. Hey, James, we got to get another look at that. He's pretty rattled here. Looks like he took a pretty big hit. Still lots of time left here in this frame. It's all tied up. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Taken by Keith. Puck grabbed by Blake. Moves inside! Locks it down with a stop! I think he got a blocker on that one. Slides it across to Gartner. Moves it around along the half wall. And that one's broken up. Here's a chance. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. The Canadians are being called for tripping. As soon as the hands go up when they start to plead with the ref, you know they know they're guilty. Here he is in front, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Slides it across to Slavin. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Here's a short pass to Lemieux. And look at this, a three-on-one. And that's picked off in front. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Sagan. Montreal's looking to break out of their own end. Tries to feed it over to Gabarik. The Red Bulls play it along the wing. The Canadians will kill off a few extra seconds now. And that's just out of reach. Passes it to Crosby. The Red Bulls carry it along the wall. Saved by the goaltender who stayed with it on the redirect. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. The Red Bulls get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Now the pressure wrapped up on the penalty kill there as they go into that last power play tied. They do a really nice job. They keep the game knotted as the power play wasn't able to cash in. And the puck escapes the zone and they'll be forced to tag up. Right to the middle. Moves it quickly over to Crosby. Montreal's in now. Takes the feed at the point. And the pump check. Oh, smart play. And that's picked off. Moves it to Sagan. Nice zone entry from the right side. Quick feed to Hamilton. And now it's over to Bellamo. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. More than half the period has expired. We are all tied up in this one. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. The Canadians grab possession to the puck. Scores! And he puts his team in front! James, this game looked really comfortable as a tie game. Now they're ahead. They've got to continue to push. The Canadians' hard work finally pays off in this third period. I don't know that they could have envisioned a better scenario than this. A one-goal lead and not much time left. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Puck scooped up by Gretzky. Poked away by the goaltender. Quick pass to St. Louis. Montreal's got possession at center. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Can't connect. Whiffs on that. And he totally whiffs on that one. Pushes it across to Sackick. Oh, and a good heads-up defensive play. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Montreal's a skater short. 
Their player who was injured earlier will not be back tonight. Thanks very much for the update, Ray. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Can't connect. Picks off the pass. Here's a shot. They score! What a shot! That's a great sound when it pings off the post, and then you don't hear anything except you see the goal light. What a shot. The Red Bulls have essentially said to everybody, buckle up as they have even things up. You get into the last five minutes, it becomes a crapshoot in a tie game. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Morenz looks around. And now he tries to get it across to Coffey. And that's blocked away. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Icing is the call. I see a lot of activity between the benches there, Ray. What do you hear? Yeah, everybody's trying to get scrambled to get organized. Now, the defensive team, they can't make a change. The offensive team's looking at getting their best players on the ice. Makes the save. The Canadians have it now. Feeds the puck to McDavid. Feeds it over to Marcel. Takes the feed. That's intercepted. Here's a short pass to Gretzky. Hammers it on net, and he comes up with the save. Too much congestion in front. And that one's broken up. Slides it over to McDavid. Montreal's got it in the neutral zone. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Montreal's won the draw. And now he moves it to Crosby. Here they are on the attack. Slides it across. And they can't convert to the play. Picked off. Tried to be too cute on the pass. Snaps one here in the slot. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Riddick. Denies him again. There's the horn. Regulation time has expired. And we are off to overtime. Sabalski, time to boogie. Overtime has begun. Ray, I know you love these moments. Receives the pass. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Slides it to Carlson. Moves it quickly over to McDavid. The Canadians look to start the transition game. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Bilovos won the draw here in the neutral zone. Moves it to Sagan. Drives it to the crease. Looking to end it. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Robitaille. A chance. Comes up with the stop. Crosby's looking for a man out front. And now it's grabbed by Bellavo. Nice pass. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Handles the puck. Centered out in front. He scores! OT winner! The Red Bulls are feeling much better about themselves as they deliver an OT. I thought they were starting to wear down, James, but they get the winner, and it's their points in the back pocket.
Everybody, so glad you could join us. He's Ray Ferraro. My name is... ...that we are so excited for. Two teams looking star for a win. And we are set to go. The Red Wings start with possession as we are now underway. Takes the pass. Takes the wow. shot. He scores! They're on the board early in this one. Yeah, it looks like one team came ready to play. The other one's still feeling their way in. Well... They'll feel their way now. They're down one. Detroit sent an early message. You are not welcome here tonight. The road team always worries about the first 10 minutes. Man, they didn't even get out of the first Wayne minute. And they're scored. down one. Scored by number 27. Eckler. Puck picked up. Ben. Scores! And we are tied! They've been scratching around the edges in this game. And now they get it back to level. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. We got a tie game. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. Taken by Lemieux. Detroit's got the puck in their own end. The Red Wings move to the offensive zone. Oh, getting a little cheeky there. He's won it. Puck grab by Carlson. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Red Wings move it in and puts it high. All right, goalie had to dock that thing was so high. The Red Bulls ready to go on the attack. Passes right to the front and they can connect. Nice zone entry on the left side. The Red Bulls take possession in the defensive end. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Nice job tying up his opponent. Detroit's got the puck along the boards. The Red Bulls gain possession in their own end. Nothing doing on that. Icing is called. Stopping the play dead. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. The Red Bulls gain possession along the wall. Right in the slot. Fantastic save. From the right side, they gain the zone. 
Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. And he slides it quickly. Scores! Breaks the tie! I wasn't sure if anybody was going to be able to start to change the momentum of this tight game. The Red Wings get a leg up here by one. Plenty of time left here, but you still have to be happy that you're in the lead. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Scored by number 86. The Red Bulls have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Quick pass to Gabarit. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. The Red Wings have it in the offensive end. Carbono is looking to make something happen here in the corner. With the tip, he scores! I believe a colleague of ours likes to call those back-to-back. -back. Yeah, the coaches want you to stay aggressive after you score. They do that, and they're able to put another one up on the board. Really good tip here. He got himself into position so he could deflect it, and it ends up in the net. Tempers flaring. Yeah, a little bump together. Little friction. Looks like the guys want to get it going. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Goes right to the crease. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. Detroit still in the same spot. That's a good scoring chance where the puck hits the pipe and stays out. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Detroit's playing it from the side. Off a stick. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Here's a short pass. Scores! They are on fire! Yeah, and it's all different sources, too. Score a goal, make a change, get another one. Nothing seems to slow them down. Past the midway mark of the frame. Detroit's got a three-goal lead. Off the try, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Moves right to the middle, and that one's broken up. Moves it quickly over to Morenz. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Time of the goal. Takes the feet at the back end. Makes the save and putting out the fire in front. Beats the goalie but can't beat the post. Detroit's latest chance results with a shot off the goal post. Probably don't need it there, but the shooter would have liked it. Picked up along the wall by Morenz. They've got numbers. Great poke check on the reach. The Red Bulls get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it to Eichel. The Red Bulls get a hold of it. Siddler's got it to the side. Blocked in front. Detroit's got it behind the net. Tries to get it over to Stamkos. Drives to the sweet spot. Turn that one aside. He's not going to face many more high danger chances than that, but he snares that attempt. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Quick feed to Sackick. Not able to connect. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Here he is from the slot. Oh, what a save in front. Detroit's got a hold of it along the wall. Blake's lugging the puck. A chance to get it out of the defensive zone. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass. Quick pass to Gabarit. And he whiffs on it. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Offside is the call that will have a faceoff just outside the offensive zone. Detroit's taken advantage of their opportunities offensively so far here in this first. More shots, more goals. Puck scooped up by Niedermeyer. Great stick work with the steal. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Passes over to Kucherov. Well, a one-sided contest through the first 20 minutes as it finally comes to an end. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. A one-sided affair after the first 20 minutes. Here we go for period number two. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. The Red Bulls are going to wear themselves out if they don't get control of the puck pretty soon. They've had no possession time virtually at all, and they're trailing in this game. Here's a short pass to Gretzky. Couldn't find the intended target. Hansen's got the puck along the wing. Here's a shot and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. 
Hammers a shot. Scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. Detroit's on a roll tonight. They extend the lead here in the second. Everything they do is better than the other team tonight. This is a domination Henry performance. By Keith's six. got it on the offensive Henry end. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Couldn't make that one happen. Lindros works the puck in his own zone. Taken along the wall by Crosby. And he gains the zone here. The Red Bulls have it against the wall. Keeps hold of the puck. Takes a bump but hangs on. The Red Bulls go to work on offense. And now it's grabbed by Kucherov. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Detroit's moving it into the offensive end. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Quick pass across to Carbono. Oh, that hurt from here. He didn't take anything out of that hit. He delivered it really as hard as he could. Goodness. Scores! Oh, what a one time! tonight is that fair to say yeah they're gonna have to change the netting in that other goal man they are firing the puck in there at will it's getting frayed taken by Gretzky puck picked up by Sittler redirected shot outstanding save and a huge opportunity I don't think it has to look very good you just have to stop it that's what he does there he's just flailing away trying to make the save any way he can Works it across to Morenz. He got all of that one. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Unable to reach that one. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Into the offensive end now. Gretzky's got it along the wing. Takes it right in the chest. And now he passes up to Line. A. Couldn't connect on that pass. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. And he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a grade A chance. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Blake. Takes it into the slot. And that goes off a player. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. Oh boy, here comes a three on one. Sundin's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Makes the save. Cool and calm under pressure. Here comes the call. Pretty cut and dry trip on that play. Coaches will tell you, be careful with your stick, but you're trying to get the puck. I yep. don't think a lot of times they do it intentionally. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. It'll be their initial power play of the evening, James the best power plays they move the puck and move their feet at the same time you'll force the penalty killers back a little more defensively than they'd like to be sends it out right in front the red wings scoop it up along the boards moves it to mcdavid
Well, there's no need to sell this one. It speaks for itself. Competitive season matchup here within hockey. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. Put the chatter aside. The puck is dropped. Here we go. Can't connect. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick feed to Carlson. Montreal's on the attack. Strong defensive effort. Grabbed along the boards by Lafleur. GKS has got the puck along the wall. In close. How did he stop that one? I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Oh, and a great defensive play there. And we'll get a face-off while one lucky fan gets a souvenir. We're still in the early stages of this period. The game is still scoreless. Steps in and takes the puck. Sackick's going to play it against the half wall. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Sackick. And that pass goes awry. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Salani. Slides the puck across to Riley. Here's a short pass to Lemieux. Big play inside the defensive zone. GKS has got the puck. McKinnis plays it now. Grabs the puck at center. Excellent stick work on the play. GKS has got the... Scores on the one-timer! GKS has got the position that every coach loves, the lead. Then you can use your bench, then you can use all of the combinations you might think will work for you. You've got a little bit of a cushion with a one-goal lead. Up along the wing, slides it over with pace to Hickey. Strong defensive effort. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. And they can convert to the play! Grabbed by Neuendijk. And that one's broken up. Moves it quickly over to Howard Chuck. Couldn't complete the play. Gains the zone through the middle. Moves it to Bellavo. GKS has gained possession along the boards. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And now it's grabbed by Sundin. Centering pass in front. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. And now he angles it across to Line. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. The Red Bulls get a hold of the puck along the boards. Hello! All tied up on the goal! Really good play to score and to get this game back to even. Now we'll see who can grab momentum. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. From the point, they take control of it. Backhander scores! The go-ahead goal! Uh, this game has been tight. Now somebody's got a leg up. Really good backhand shot here. He got into the low slot. And really tough for the goalie to read where that puck's going. GKS's effort pays off, and they take the one goal lead. You can't even really relax. I mean, it's so much time left in the game. You've got the lead. That's great. Now go and get another one. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. And a smart heads-up read to come up with the puck. Couldn't complete the play. Quick feed to McDavid. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The 360 with the puck. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. Here they come, three of them. Sends it across. It scores! We are... ...games they've kept working away, not taking too many chances, and their work has resulted...
resulted in a tie game. Here in the late goings of the period, it's all tied up. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Quick pass to Line A. Jabs the puck away. GKS has got it in their own zone. Can't hang on after that hit. Moves the puck to Blake. GKS has got it in the neutral zone. Let's it fly. And off the crossbar. What an opportunity right there. Not exactly how the coach drew that one up. We'll get a face-off. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Inside the final minute of the first here. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Lemieux. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Here's a short pass to Crosby. Can't catch up to the pass. The one-time blast! Oh, lightning quick reflexes on the one-timer! It's official, period number one is in the books. heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. had a chance to recharge and the officials set to drop the puck here on period number two period number two now underway let's see what this one has in store for us Ray what's your assessment of the game to this point GKS's focus going forward is going to be to hold on to the puck much better than they did in that turnover prone first period LaFleur is swooping in on the attack Keith's been tripped up and we got a penalty coming up here puck picked up in the open ice here comes the official's decision. The Red Bulls will serve two minutes in the box. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. GKS has got the puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by McKinnis. Stays with it. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Puck scooped up by Sagan. Moves it quickly over to Sackick. Right in front of the net. Wow. And we got a leader as he tucks it into the net. These teams are jammed together. That goal might open it up. GKS has taken the lead, but still lots of time to go here, Ray. That's a lot of work, James, put into just getting yourself to the front. Now you've got to play like a leader. Moves it to McKinnis. Moves the puck. Moves it over to Solani. And now he tries to get it across to Sackick. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. On the attack along the boards. Big time save on a big time shot. Taken by Gretzky. And that one's broken up. From the left side, they gain the zone. Montreal's looking to break out of their own end. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Still lots of time left here in this frame. GKS has got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Puck picked up by Hamilton. Grabs control of it at the point. Shuts him down. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Puck grabbed by Sackick. And now it's over to Dion. That's intercepted. Keith's carrying it ahead. Quick feed to Sittler. And here's a shot. Oh, slick work with the glove by Kemper. And now he moves it to Sackick. GKS has got control of the puck. Looks to make a play over to Newendike. And makes the save. 
And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Sends the pass over. GKS has regained possession of the puck. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Cuts into the paint. Great read by the keeper to poke it away. And they send it right back to him. Here's the pass. Stopped by the goaltender. Goalie plays it up. Quick pass to Stetcher. Sends a pass over. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's a short pass to Sittler. Slides the puck over. Broken up with a stick. Moves the puck over to Lemieux. GKS has got him along the wall. No one home on that play. And now it's grabbed by Koibu. Oh, what a slick stop by Kemper. Sharp reaction save. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. With the steal. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. And that one's broken up. And they fail to go tape to tape. Moves it quickly over to Sundin. Olchek's got it against the boards. Trying to get back on the attack now. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Right in front, and they can't connect. Into the attacking end. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. GKS has got a hold of it along the wall. Solani's the victim of a slash, and the official caught that. We got a penalty coming up. Coffee stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. You got to let him go at a certain point here. He gets called for slashing, and that's not a good penalty. GKS's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Hey, another power play for them. They've been successful tonight. I don't think they changed the script much here. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Takes the feed. GKS has gained possession along the boards. And he regains control of the puck. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. Solani's going off for interference. Sometimes you get caught in the wrong spot on the ice. He clearly interferes with the other player's progress. Wrong place, wrong time. You're right on that one, Ray. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to Sackick. GKS has got the puck along the wall. Right out in front. Here's a chance, and that one's broken up. Great block there. GKS has got a hold of it against the wall. Sackick's got it deep in the offensive end. Takes the shot. Great glove save. And now he angles oh, it across man. to McDavid. Couldn't catch up to that pass. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Montreal's got some room to do something here on this power play as their penalty expired. There's the whistle stopping the play. Lindros is off to the box for charging. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. Time is of the essence for this five-on-three power play. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. GKS is ready to go on the attack. To his teammate! And that's broken up. Looks to get the puck over to Lemieux. Picking up ahead of steam on the breakaway. Oh, what a stop on the breakaway. Good speed to break ahead of the pack. He thinks he's got the goalie beat, but shut down. That's a great stop. Well, not exactly a banner night for the goaltenders as the second period comes to an end. At least they'll get a breather here.
Alongside Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabolski, ready to bring you period number three. GKS's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. Let's it go! It's in! A shorthanded goal! As soon as that puck turned over, man, they were off to the races. They looked like they wanted to score, even though they were down a man. GKS has now widened the lead to two in this third period. What was pretty interesting was one of the guys told me as they came out for the start of the third period, the coaches didn't come in. They left it to the players, wanted them to run that intermission by themselves. He scores! Another shorthanded marker. You don't see that often. No, they're not a very passive group killing penalties, are they? That's a couple of times where they've just taken advantage of a mistake and raced up the ice. GKS is all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. With possession along the wall. Moves it to McKinnis. Takes the pass from his goaltender. Receives the pass. The power play looking anything but as they give up a shorthanded goal with both teams back now at even strength. Oh, they're not going to think too much about that. You will, you want to at least generate a little momentum on your power play. Not only did they not score, they gave up a shorty, which is always deflating. Too much traffic in the lane. With authority. Can't connect. Oh, the reactionary save. And loses possession after a solid hit. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Dishes it to Solani. GKS has got it in their own zone. Montreal's grabbed a hold of the puck. There's the whistle penalty coming up. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do. Montreal's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. You're on the power play for a reason. You screwed up, you gave up a shorthanded goal earlier. That's the way it is. Now get back to work. Sends it over to Sagan. GKS is across the blue line. Quick feed to Lafleur. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Takes a shot, air mails it over the net. We well, got half of it right, he got rid of it quick, but he shot it too high, it's not even a shot on net. They go on the attack through center. And he moves it up to Gretzky. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Quick pass to Lafleur. Great read as he crouches down to block it. That pass goes a little sideways. Man advantages up. Both teams back to even strength. I like the work the penalty killers did there. The power play at times looked dangerous. But they didn't give up anything. And the power play is now over. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. GKS is laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Puck scooped up by Coffey. Floats it right onto the tape. GKS has got the puck in their own end. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Picked up along the wall by Stetcher. And they can't convert to the play! Carlson's gaining momentum. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Taken by Koivu. Here's a short pass to McDavid. Look out, a two-on-one. Misses over the net. Oh, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Lemieux's moving it ahead. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. The Red Bulls take it along the wall. And that one's broken up. Looking to set up offensively. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Made the stop on the play. Kemper's fought that puck all night long. He makes a good save there, James, but it's been a long night for him, and the guys in front of him haven't been much better. Can't find his man. Moves it quickly over to Sittler. Pass stolen in the open ice. Lindros' whole game kick. That's the...